Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to work on some henna designs for the fingers. This was a requested video from one of my subscribers and so I was happy to fill the request. And in fact I've turned this into a series of videos that have different types of finger designs for different um, types of henna styles or different application levels. So I hope that you find this beneficial. In this video, we're going to start with some easy designs for the fingers or designs that are really great for beginners. So this first design is going to be a design that would go on the back of the hand. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a little fingernail in here real quick. Okay. And um, so let's go ahead and start here. I'm just going to draw a line and then we're just going to fill in this area around it and when I fill in an area I just lightly press henna paste to the tip of my cone and then I move the cone around kind of in a circular motion to fill it in and I want it to be all even if you um, do that better with a uh, paintbrush or some sort of stick go ahead and do that otherwise you can follow along with me then I'm going to go ahead and add another line here. And then I'm going to do some gingerbread, but I'm going to make them elongated so they're not going to be short. They're going to be long, like so, but very skinny. And if you have questions on how to do gingerbread, I did make a video on it. I'll go ahead and put a link in the information box below if you'd like to watch that video. That is a very popular video also requested by one of my subscribers. I am happy to take requests. And then we're going to come in with some larger gingerbread that are fat. So they're going to be wider so we can fit two or three of our previous gingerbread inside of them. Like so. Very easy, right? Okay. And then we're going to go across the top of that, leave a little bit of space up there. And then we're going to fill it in like we did with the fingertip, like so. And if this gets smudged a little bit, you can straighten it out. Just put a quick line under the tip of that to get it straight. And then we're going to do another line. A little space there. And then we're going to do some kind of leaf drop shape kind of things. So we're going to come to the, approximately the middle of this line here. Draw a line. Stop. Ball of henna. Pull it out into a little bit of leaf shape. Cute, huh? Um, let's do another one, but we won't make the line as long as this one, so they will be graduated in size. Meaning the next one's going to be slightly shorter than the one before it. Let's do that again. Graduate in size. And another leafy shape. And we want to make these complementary to the one on the other side as best as possible. And that's it. Very simple, huh? Let's move on to another one. This one's got some tiny little mandalas in it. And when you do a design like the one I'm going to show you now, you can adjust the number of mandalas in the, um, in the finger design based upon how long the finger is. So let's say, for instance, on the middle finger, which is typically the longest finger on the hand, um, I'm going to do three of them. Um, you might do two or one, um, depending on the length of the finger. Or do what you can fit in there. So we're going to do pretty simple mandala. We're going to do... Just a little teeny tiny swirl. Then we're going to do a circle, complete circle around that. Okay. And then we're going to do a little bit of gingerbread. Mm-hmm. See how simple this is? We do this often with filler, so it's basically just taking some things you do in filler and putting it on the finger. Now if you've done a design that happens to have this type of filler in it on the rest of the hand and then you do some accents on the finger, that's kind of cool. So it just kind of pulls the whole design together. 
So there's a little tip and some advice for you. I'm going to do another one. Let's do another swirl where we put a complete circle around it. And I'm just using a normal henna cone here. It's not a special henna cone. The tip is really finely cut though, so you're able to get some nice details. That's how I like my henna cones. I do get a lot of questions about how I vary the thickness in line using one henna cone. Um, I just put more pressure on the cone. Just as simple as that. So you'll want to try to make each little mandala the same size, um, approximately. However, if you're human like me, sometimes that doesn't always happen. Sometimes one is slightly bigger than the other. Sometimes your henna isn't perfect. A large majority of the time mine isn't. Don't tell anyone that, though. I've got to keep people convinced that I'm perfect all the time. You know, some of my videos I will um, record multiple times. Anyway, let's finish this design up here. Um, I'm going to put a tiny little um, paisley here. Just a dot. Go around. This one's going to be a little bit more square on the bottom. And we're just going to pull that in. So you see it's squared off there rather than rounded. I do have a video on paisley, so if you have any questions about how to do paisleys, you should watch that video. I'm going to come up back to the mandalas and start putting some dots around the edges. In my video where I talk about gingerbread, which is that loopy U's or M's, sometimes people call them around the edges here, um, if you make some mistakes and some are a little bit longer than others, if you put dots around them, you can disguise those mistakes. And I talk about that in that video, which is already linked down below in the information box, should you need to reference that video. Try to make them equal distance apart, if at all possible. It's not always possible, but try anyway. And then we're just going to connect these with a thin line. So I'm just going to put a line here, approximately in the middle. Here. And here. Boom. Done. You like that one? That was pretty easy, right? All right, let's do another one. This one is really easy, and I actually do this one quite a bit when I'm doing henna party designs, and I've done something really simple here, and I just want to put something pretty on the fingers. And it's basically um, just a paisley that's rounded at the bottom. Okay, and then I fill it in with some pretty basic swirls. It's very, very easy. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I'm just going to come from the top here and do some little vines, some little speary shapes, spear type shapes on the bottom of them. Pretty easy. Each one is a little bit longer than the next, like so, and then I come in here and do a little accents, like that. Very easy. For um, this one, if there is a fingernail here, you could just drop the design down a little bit further and you would start the paisley under the fingernail, same for this one. Alright? Let's go ahead and do another one. This one I do quite often. And um, it's pretty simple. We're just going to put a cap on the tip of the finger here. So I'm going to draw a line. And then you know, fill it in. But if this is the back of the hand instead of the front of the hand, you can um, do what I did here, where you just go around the fingernail. Unless you want to fill your fingernail in and dye your fingernails with henna, you can just go over the top of it completely. So it's just like that. You're just putting a cap on the tip of the finger. In fact, I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, actually. Let's put a line there and fill it in some more. Like that. 
And then I'm going to do kind of like a little vine shape, so it'll just be a curved line. And then I'm going to put some little leaves on it. These are pretty simple, and this is the pinky, so I like to keep the pinky simple if you have larger pinkies, or if you are putting this design on another finger that's larger, say the thumb, you can get a little bit more detailed with it. And then I'm going to come in here with another curved line. These are meant to be vines with little leaves, like I said before. And you can do more than two, or you can just do one. I'm able to fit two on this pinky. My actual pinky on my hand is smaller than this one, so I can't fit as much on my own pinky. So. Pretty simple, huh? Just some vines. Very, very, very easy. And then let's go in with another one on the thumb. And this is one that I do quite often. Or it's just um, a simple flower. And then uh, a leaf. And that's pretty much it. So we're going to start with a swirl here. And then we're going to do some gingerbread around it. And whether you're working on the front of the hand or the back of the hand, this design is pretty easy to do. Let's go ahead and put some petals in. Like that. Okay. And you can adjust the number of petals based upon which finger it is on and how much space you have. I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of shadowing in each petal on the base, but you can put the shadowing on the top of the petal if you prefer to have it there. It's your preference, and if you prefer to do your shadowing with a small paintbrush, continue to do it that way if it works for you. Then we're going to do a leaf. It's my favorite kind of leaf to do, and you will see it in a lot of my work, simply because I like to do it that way. Everybody has their leaf that they like to do. I can change it up if I feel so inclined to do so. But I like this one a lot because in the finished design it looks really pretty. And it's really simple, very easy to do. <clears throat> and that's pretty much it. Um, if I want to, I can put some little dots around this. In fact, I think I want to. It wasn't part of my original plan, but it's a cool thing. You can just change it up. So that's pretty much it as far as simple designs for the fingers. Um, there will be additional videos in this series showing various different things like designs for, um, for the fingers for bridal um, and other styles of henna. I'm going to go ahead and move the camera here so you can see what I've done. So this is the first one here. The second third, fourth, and of course we did the thumb. So, that's it. If you have any questions for me, please go ahead and put them down in the comments box, or you can email me info at freehandmindy.net. I am happy to take video requests. And please rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.